In this world, it's always been a goal of mine to transform the end dimension into the moon. I've already built a rocket and even a giant planet in the sky. So today, we're gonna build a giant space station on the moon, all in Minecraft hardcore. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to do this build. I've been thinking about it for like a month now, and it's finally time. But that being said, this is gonna be a very big project, so let's get to work. First up, I had to make a design for this moon base. So I hopped in a separate creative mode world and began thinking of ideas. I actually tried to make a build just like this about a year ago in an old survival world, but honestly it wasn't even that good. So I am inspired to make the perfect moon base today. Okay, what kind of block should I use? Ah, uh, I really want to use iron, but I don't have any iron in my hardcore world. What else can I use? Guys, don't hate me, but diorite? doesn't look too bad. It looks close enough, right? As a matter of fact, diorite gets too much hate. Everyone says it looks like bird poop, but I'm about to make the most amazing build out of bird poop. I then started Googling space station concept art to get some inspiration. And after about two hours of intense planning, I had a design that I absolutely loved. All right, it's time to rock and roll. Okay, that's what like 40 year old dads say. Sorry about that. Okay, so we gotta go to the end dimension and go scout out the area. Cause this space station is gonna be pretty massive. And the best part about this is we get to take a rocket ship to the end. It's so fitting for today's episode. In we go. And simply put, I just wanted to make sure there was enough space to make a big build here. And I am so glad I checked. Uh-oh. I hate to say it, but I think these towers are in the way. I don't want to chop these things down. It's so much obsidian. Ah, oh, fine, I'll do it. You gotta do what you gotta do to make a cool build, no matter how annoying it is. And as I mind, please subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, this is so boring, but I do have good news. Somebody from my Discord server said me a Farsi themed totem of undying. It's so adorable. I love it. Okay, enough happiness. Back to work. Okay, three towers down. That was a lot of obsidian. And look at my pickaxe. One second, please. Much better. On we go to phase two. We gotta go collect all the blocks for the space station. Specifically, a lot of diorite and white glass. Please tell me I have a little bit of diorite. Eh. I mean, not bad, but I need like at least four shulker boxes full of diorite. So off we go to the mine. But then I thought I should bring a beacon for faster mining. That was close. But after that small incident, I made it down to the mine. Hello there, giant clump of diorite. I'll be taking you. Go skeleton! I believe in you! I'm so proud of you. Whoa! Kids, never gamble. It's not worth it. <laughs> Whoa! It's never worth it. But luckily, I recovered and finished getting our diorite. And boom, five shulker boxes full of diorite. Oh, my poor pickaxe. He's having a terrible day today. But carrying on, I continued grinding away, getting all the resources I needed for this build. Hey, buddy! What's going on? Long time no see! Oh, no, he despawned! Maybe he doesn't like me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is officially time to begin building our moon base. And I came fully prepared. Let's do this thing. So I started out by doing a little bit of terraforming to add some more space to work with. And as you can see, that was a really smart idea. Oh yeah, fits perfectly. And it might look kind of small, but I promise you, you've seen nothing yet. So my idea for this space station is to make it like a tower shape. And that way, each layer can have its own unique purpose. For example, these glass domes are made specifically to house plants. And this top level, is a research lab and an observatory for the astronauts. So long story short, this build is epic. Oh my goodness, she is gorgeous. Have a look at this beautiful space station. I absolutely love it. It looks so sci-fi-y. Is that a word? It just looks so cool. And the inside is just as beautiful. Giant spiral staircase, tons of beautiful layers, and most importantly, an amazing view of the moon and other planets. I'd call this a success. It kind of looks like an end city if it was all futuristic. And by the way, that took me three days to build. I mean, I also bought a new car, so I was a little bit busy in real life this week. But regardless, let's get back to work. There is much to do. I gotta turn this giant empty building into a fully functional space station. And first up, the bottom floor, which is supposed to be a living quarters for the astronauts. This will be home to astronaut beds, bathrooms, and food supply, as well as a cleaning system to get all the space germs off the astronauts. Because that's important in space, I think. I don't know, I'm not an astronaut. Maybe one. Day. Okay, first off, beds. I'm gonna go with white beds. That seems astronauty. Astronauty. <laughs> 
I'm so immature. Let's stay focused here. Next up, food. What kind of food do astronauts eat? I don't know. So I googled it. Fruits, vegetables, and tortillas. Yeah, I don't know. I also found out you can buy astronaut food online. I am so tempted, but carrying on. Let's see what's on the menu in the old barn. Meat, probably not. Aha, vegetables. Astronauts need their nutrients. They also need some water, and I think that's good. So I grabbed some more blocks, killed a few spiders, and headed back to the end. Just need some strength. Yes, yeah, skeleton, I'm gambling on you. Yes, gambling is awesome. Kids, I'm joking, don't gamble. So we started off by fixing up the floors and making the bedrooms for the astronauts. But unfortunately, I'm an idiot. I did not do it again. I literally just did this last episode in the nether. I'll have to organize this more later, but for now, it worked. I cannot believe myself sometimes. Mistakes aside, I carried on adding tons of details to this layer. All right, the room is much more lively, full of stuff, and most importantly, it makes scientific sense. We got tables and chairs. We got our freeze-dried fruit and vegetables. Uh, I think these ones went bad. We got a refrigerator, and over here we have a bathroom. Look at it, we got a toilet that works. We got a sink, things are wonderful. Oh, and I almost forgot, in here we have an air ventilation system, which as promised, sucks up all the space germs so you don't get any germs in the space station. We're so clean. So that being said, we have the place ready for our astronauts. Let's go do some recruiting. I think I know the perfect person to go to space. Just pop in here and hello, Broderick. What are you doing? If you guys are new here, Broderick is my pet chicken and he is so smart. He's literally a chicken scientist. So Broderick, what do you say? Yes, he's going. Follow me this way. Wait, I can't forget Broderick's scientific journal. Ah, here we are. I wonder if he has any new chapters. Ah, he does. But no time to read it. We gotta go. We're going to space. Oh, look at him. He's so excited. Introducing your new chief moon scientist, Broderick. All right, Broderick, make yourself at home. I'll be back for you later. We got more work to do. And it starts up here on the next level. These next two levels are both labs to do scientific experiments. So I have a system for this. This layer here is gonna be for studying moon rocks. So we're gonna take a bunch of end stone, put it in here, and experiment with it. Let's get to it. Honestly, I don't really know what I made here. I just kind of made some cool looking science experiment. I guess this is like a weight test. So I'll drop the moon rock and see how much it weighs. This is like a redstone electrocution test. I don't know, my imagination stinks. But carrying on upstairs, here comes the fun. This layer here will be for growing plants and earth nature. And that's why we have these big bubbles connected to the layer because we're gonna put trees in here. It's gonna look sick. Grab some bone meal and I kind of want some flowers too. All right, let's give it a try. Broderick, would you stop laying eggs everywhere? It's a space station, not a zoo. Jeez, man. And we're just about done. We walk straight through the air filters, go into the biodomes with a little bit of tree, moss, and flowers. The perfect recipe for oxygen. All right, well, this thing's coming together nicely. Wait, boom, boom. Yes, yes, yes. We're making such good progress today. And for the final layer, we have the research ring. A gigantic glass ring where I'm gonna store all our computers and data collection systems. Basically, all the information we get from the lab down there comes up here to be further analyzed. So I gotta build some computers. Roderick, how do you build a computer? Okay, thanks for nothing. He's so sassy. I actually have a pretty good idea for this. Okay, table, chair, computer, screen, mouse, and keyboard. Boom, a computer. I think it looks glorious. And I'll make a few of these around the whole research ring. Oh wait, you know what I'd love to do here? I'd love to put a gigantic ender map, like right there on the wall. Is that even possible to make? Well, let's go find out, shall we? Um, sir, astronauts only. Oh, villagers, where's the cartographer? Hello there, sir, can I trade for an empty map from you? I can. I'll take a bunch of these, thank you very much. Excuse me, what did I just say? Broderick, better security, please. All right, let's give it a try. Empty map. Oh, look at that, that's so cool. Well, all right, let's go make some more of these. And boom, look at that. That looks so cool, but look at the skulk planet. That looks insanely cool. And I'll do a little bit of this just for some extra texture around the thing. And there we go, absolutely glorious. And on that note, I think we're all done with the decorations because up here is just an observatory. So there's no builds in here. It's just you come up here, you look out and you enjoy the view. So yeah, I think we're all good. But after speaking to Broderick, he made a really good point. As soon as I go, home, there's no way for Broderick to contact 
me. So we're gonna build a satellite dish. I hate to say it, but he's right. Where should the satellite go? I wonder if I could fit it right there on the top. I say we do it. So I hop back in my creative world, made a cool design, and began collecting resources. And I can honestly say, this is probably my favorite part of the entire build so far. It looks so good. That thing looks absolutely insane. I love it. I did not think it was gonna be that massive. It's huge. But it's absolutely worth it, because now I can talk to Broderick again. But after building all that, I need a break. But not just any break. Disco break! Oh, that felt good. Now, there's actually a lot more I want to do today. But first, I gotta take care of something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 30,000 likes, I would make a TNT launcher, launch myself in the air, and try an MLG water bucket it. But sadly, we did not get enough likes. <laughs> But that being said, for this video, I have an amazing challenge that you cannot refuse. If this video gets 20,000 likes, I will buy the astronaut food that we saw online earlier. And I'll eat it on camera. I really hope it's not nasty. Fingers crossed. But carrying on, let's get back to work. So the moon base looks absolutely amazing. But there's still so much open space on the outside that we can work with. And my idea? Make some epic moon rovers. If you recall earlier, I said I tried to make a moon base in an old world of mine about a year ago. And it didn't come out that good except for one thing. I made an amazing moon rover. Allow me to show you. Oh boy, here we go. Oh my gosh, what a blast from the past. This is my old survival world. Here's the terrible space station I told you about, but here is the really cool part. Look at this moon rover. I think it looks so sick. Giant like crab claw hands. You can hop inside it and look out the window. So I think it'll fit in perfectly in my hardcore world. Let's go do it. So I hop back in my hardcore world and begin building quite a few of these moon rovers. Wait, watch this. Make some end bricks and check it out. I put some of these down here and we have tire tracks. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Oh, can you imagine if one day I made like a giant drill in the middle of the moon? I'm not gonna do it today, but in the future we have to build that. Oh no, guys, a great tragedy is among us. I just realized my prized bow is about to break. But the question is, is it still salvageable? Please tell me I can do this. Put that there, put that there. <gasps> We can! Oh, I had no faith in that. Boom! As a matter of fact, I probably can also get more enchantments on that. Follow me to the library. Okay, what books can I use? Oh, punch. Boom, boom, boom. And there we go. OP bow is now in session. Oh, oh, he despawned. Oh, no. So tragic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an amazing day of building, but we are now down to our final build of the day. We need an easier way to get from the spawn location to the moon base. So we're going to make a little mini spawn station full of helpful resources and, of course, oxygen. Let's get to work. And I built this little hut that kind of looks like a greenhouse, but regardless, it serves the purpose. Small side note, I love these little radio towers I made with the little, like, redstone torches on them. But here we go. Here is our little, like, base camp. Smack a door in here. I'll smack a computer right here. And just some more sciencey things around the area, I guess. And I'm in. Oh, and as a matter of fact, great idea. I'm gonna take my carved pumpkin and keep it over here so I'll never forget one. Come and get me now, you idiot. Haha, <laughs> you're too fat. But all right, guys, we have officially finished our space station build today. And before I go, one last thing. I'm currently gaining a ridiculous amount of subscribers. If we hit 1 million subs before the year is over, I will dye my hair teal. So on that note, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.